Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And I just want to take you through the developments uh, since the last episode. So, <clears throat> as you know, we have been struggling with uh, the Hereford save. Um, the strategy was to keep on the Hereford players for half a season. And then from then on, uh, we then implemented our own players, but keeping the same system. So keeping the same tactic. That's not gone very well for us. Um, excuse me as I kind of um, multitask here in the background. So that, that's not gone very well for us. We um, had a bit of a hard time making that work with other players. So I've got... Um, I can do two things. I'm a bit in a bit of a fork, fork in the road, I suppose. I can either carry on with that save and uh, make some changes. Um, essentially uh, trying to fix the tactics and go from there or I could do what I always do which is um, in fact do a save where I pick what I want to do from the start so I pick my own tactic and I pick my own players from the very start and go from there so this is what I'm doing right now on the screen um, this is uh, the very start of the Hereford save again but having picked my own tactic um, and also having picked my own players. The only original Hereford player in this uh, scenario is uh, Jared H uh, Hotchkiss. Everybody else has been replaced. Um, yeah, so it's up to you really. You can say in the comments whether you want to see me play the new Hereford save um, or if you want to see me uh, fix the old one. So I actually played a little bit of both. Um, I did go back and change the system and started a new season with a new system. So I've got that ready to go if you, uh, if that's what you want me to do. Or I can just carry on with this one uh, as well and see what is the change. So we could compare this, this save with how the other save progressed. So in the other save, just to tell you what we finished off as well, uh, we progressively got lower and lower down the league as the seasons went on. And this last season, we finished just two places from the relegation. So t I think it was 18th or 19th. Um, yeah, two places off the relegation zone. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the experiment has not gone very well. Uh, in this save, what I've done is picked some positions um, and I've, apparently I went for another kind of methodical way where I went and looked for positions with very few requirements um, and hopefully we can bump up the attributes um, a lot and then try and pick the tactic that had the majority of those positions in it, of those roles in it and I, I adapted it a little bit which ended up actually quite surprisingly I ended up going for a park the bus which I never in my life I would have gone for a park the bus sort of tactic. But that's what we have here. It's a slightly altered parking the bus tactic. Um, I've gone cautious in this game because we're playing Scarborough and uh, well, they are quite a difficult team. But uh, ideally I'd go more balanced or more positive. But even so, we still managed to concede quite a, quite a few. So, just to give you a whistle stop um, tour through this save. So, as I mentioned, the tactic is a slightly adapted bar park the bus. We're going with two poachers. Uh, I've put an um, uh, attacking centre midfielder in as well. Uh, and the, everything else is as normal. So, they've not changed anything in defence, I don't think. I just pushed. Uh, this midfielder up and I changed the role of the second attacker to be a poacher also. As far as a team, let me just go back to the squad. So for goalkeepers we have uh, Luke Hutchkinson, 19 year old from Bolton. And we also have uh, Russ Griffiths, 26 year old from Telford. 
And then on the right of defense, we have the original player from Hereford, the only one that's left, Jared Hotchkiss, to play on the right of defense. And in that position, we also have Mohammed, 22 year old from Accrington. On the left side, we've got Joe Brown, 18 year old from Bolton as well. And Louis de Souza, which is a player that we use often actually, uh, he's from a Rochdale. And then we have four center defenders. Uh, Eden Sears, 19-year-old, Shrewsbury. Uh, we also have Ollie Brown, 19-year-old as well, from um, Geisley, apparently. Uh, we have also Harrison Burke, which we've used before in the previous save. Chester. And finally, uh, Nathan Cameron, a more experienced player, coming from a free transfer from Kidderminster. In the... Anchor position, we've got Michael Rose, again, a very experienced player uh, from Moriton. And also in that position, we've got Mark Brain, Irish player. Uh, in the midfielding position, we've got um, Motti. Motti. Uh, he comes over from Swansea, but more experience in that role, we have Calm Stringer, Irish player as well from Waterford. Uh, James English in the right side of the wing. He's also come from Ireland, uh, even though his name is English. Um, and then on the other side of that, where he is? Oh yeah, 2P is going to play on the right side as well. He's played a little bit all over the place, wow. Portugal, France, nice, okay. On the left side of the wing, we got Stephen Kenny, Irish player, and we also have Will McLaren, Willie McLaren, very experienced player, uh, played in Scotland all of his life. And then in attack, we got a bunch of poachers. So we've got Andy Jackson, experienced poacher from Scotland. We've got... Uh, Dylan Lawrence, on loan from uh, Elgin City, also Scottish. And then we've got uh, Sean Roche, Irish player. And we also have Johnny Smith, also another Scottish player. So we've got a lot of, got a lot of Scots at the front for poaching. And, and that's it, I maxed up the staff uh, as much as I could. I let go... A lot of the players, I'm still hoping I can maybe sell some of the other players as well. Some off, 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 offload some of them. Uh, I won't be able to do that with all of them. It's a bit of a shame because we've got quite nice, like good players. But uh, I won't kind of build my own team, so I'm going to have to let these guys go. Uh, this will improve over time. At the moment, the captain is Hotchkiss um, and some of the other guys um, as a vice. So yeah, we're starting all over again, fresh again, uh, everything new again. And we're going to try using the strategy that I normally use, you know, that I have been using in previous versions of the game. Um, although the tactic is slightly different. I usually go for those sort of positions, um, but with a more aggressive, like attacking tactic. Uh, but well, yeah, we'll, we'll see what Park the Bus will do for us. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Wait, have I changed anything? I don't think. I think it's just a normal Park the Bus. I'm not, I don't, don't think I've changed anything except for the, some of these positions I've moved around. And obviously, the mentality for Park the Bus is usually defensive, but we're going to go with the more attacking mentality. Okay, so for the next match, we're going to have uh, Griffiths, uh, Zen, I might keep these guys, oh, Burke is not available anyway, okay, so I'll keep these guys, because I think, yeah, um, Souza. This guy in as well. Oh, I need to change him for Karen. He's a bit tired. Uh, Oldie was a bit tired. I'm going to change this guy out because he's tired. 
English can stay, I think. He's doing well. Kenny, um, no, McLaren. And then in attack, we have these two on at the moment. Okay, so we're gonna have Smith back. Who's the other striker? Oh, Shen Roche, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have Smith in. Let's just uh, check if they have any preference for side. Oh, but I have a feeling Smith was on the other side last time. Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then on the bench we need... I'm gonna put Ollie in. Uh, we can leave this guy. Um, we're gonna need someone to represent the midfield, so we're gonna have Mike. And then attack, we can have Topi, that's fine. And we can have one more sub, so we can usually go for anyone that can play a couple of positions. So this guy can play two positions, and so can this guy, but Marty is having slightly better performance, so we'll put him on the bench. And that's it, let's go. I'm gonna play Chester. So yeah, so I'll just continue with the save, see where it goes. Uh, it, this is all a bit of a experiment, these saves. Um, of course, the other thing I could have done is go back to the start, keep the hair for players, because that was going really well, actually. When we, we did that, keeping the hair for players and build a tactic around the hair for players, that kept us in first place for a long time, and, and then second place for a while longer. And only halfway through the season did we drop from second place when I brought in my my own players. So I could have done that and then continued, basically took taken that approach beyond the half season point. Uh, but maybe we'll do that with the next edition of FM. Um, yeah. Oh, obviously, it, another benefit of starting the save again, since I'm fixing, trying to fix, um, getting a save that's sustainable, if you see what I mean, is that all the finances have been reset as well, which is good. Um, although we weren't really in financial trouble in the previous, in the other save as well. The other save, I think we were still had like 100, 100k in the bank last time I looked. So that was okay. And then in between all of this, I'm still playing last year's save. Uh, and that's going well, actually. We're looking towards a promotion to Skybet Championship in that. Let me know if you want me to record an episode or two on that still. Uh, obviously, I haven't because, you know, that's the previous version of the game. But if you fancy having a look... Then why not? So there might be a few players here in this save that we've seen before. I know, I know Louis de Souza, the uh, left fullback we've used before. Um, I don't know if we used any of the others in other saves. Just swap position, see if he works out better for him. At the front, I don't really have another sub to put in for that position at the front. He seems to have worked. He's bounced back.
just from far. Wow. Okay. I've got a couple more subs to use up. So I'm going to try using them up in midfield, maybe. Let's see. Um, this guy's not doing too well. I know he's, they're all tired, but they're not doing too badly. So I'm going to take out the ones that are performing the least. And that's usually what I do anyway. He usually take out the players that are performing the least, if I can. Okay, and I think we've had one of each, a win, a loss, and a draw. I can't remember if this is, if this is the third or fourth game of the season, but we'll take a look now. So it looks like it's the third. Okay. I'm pretty sure we won the first one because we have four points. And we won it against uh, Spenny Moore, 3-2, with goals from Johnny Smith, which he, he got um, uh, taken out. Didn't he? Yeah, he got taken out early in the game at halftime. But um, yeah, so it's just, um, I think the players are all finding their feet still, trying to gel with each other, uh, trying to learn how to play together and learn how to play in this new system as well. So that will get better. He's already got better a little bit just in the course of these few minutes. So all of that will get better. We'll rebuild it with the usual strategy that I use rather than keeping players from the original squad but um i'm not against like maybe next year in the next edition of the game to then try and um you know keep those original players for as long as possible rather than implementing my own kind of complete renewal at um at january I'm just going to go back to training. I don't want to get reports. There we go. There we go. So while I set up for the next match, I'm going to just quickly do that. And at the same time, I'm going to thank you for uh, watching until the end. It's obviously uh, quite good. You know, I enjoy playing football manager and I like the fact that other people can enjoy, you know, getting to see what I'm up to as well. Um, yeah, so let me know uh, how you, your saves are going and what you think I should do, uh, if I should carry on with the previous save and just try and fix it, or you think I should um, do what I'm doing now, which is kind of rebuilding it all afresh as well. Let's see what... I think I need to definitely rest a couple of the players. I don't want to change too much. I guess that's the beauty of having 20, 22 players is you can you can in theory rest everyone. And at this time at this time of the season, it doesn't really matter if you change too many players. That's usually okay because they're all still trying to gel together. Keep them on. And then in attack, got Johnny, and let's try this guy on. Have we got a preference? No. Okay, I might try John on that side, see if that helps him. Last last game he didn't he didn't have a, a very good time. And I want someone who's not tired, so I'm gonna go back and get Thompson for just a one match. I know Thompson's on that list um, to be sold, but if I bring him on just for one match just to give these other guys a rest. Okay, so that's covered. Uh, I need someone to play on the right and left. And we have to bring Johnny English back. So I can have that striking position covered as well. And there we go. So thank you so, so much for watching. Oh, sorry. Just clicked off something there. Um, and I'm going to cr crack on with this uh, save and just see where it takes me. And I'll catch up with you probably around the January mark, to be honest. Um, yeah. So thanks so much for watching until the end. Make sure you like and subscribe. And you also can um, check out the Patreon as well. Yeah, all of that. All right. I'm going to head off now. Bye.